I'm going to show you how to, to free a uh, frozen stem. The stem right now is frozen in the uh, fork steer tube. So first thing I want to do is go ahead and loosen the little uh, uh, steer bolt here. Um, a lot of them now, the, the more current ones have like little hex uh, ones in here that are kind of recessed. But just go ahead and loosen that bolt and there's a wedge down in the, the steerer tube that this tightens, it pulls it up. So we want to go ahead and free that little wedge. So how you're going to do that is um, you just take a hammer here and just kind of tap down on that bolt. And that'll push the wedge and that'll free the wedge down in here. Now often just freeing that wedge down there is enough to go ahead and free the stem in there, but not in this case. So the next step is I'm going to go ahead and remove this little lock nut here. There we go. Okay, loosening this lock nut should not free the stem, but what it does is it gives us access to where the, the stem goes down into the steerer tube. So now we're going to use some sort of penetrating oil. I've got a uh, liquid wrench, super penetrant, and I've got PB blaster penetrating catalyst. Uh, the PB blaster is supposed to be stronger. So what I'm going to do is spray the PB blaster and try to get the, the penetrating oil down in around the stem there and let it soak in. Now with the bike flipped upside down, I go, I pull the wheel off, the front wheel off, and on the underside of the fork, there's a hole, and this will allow me to get penetrating oil in from this side. And I'll get it all sprayed in and soaking in from the underside of the steerer tube. And the stem just goes right into there. And this is it's frozen inside this tube right there. So I'm going to get the penetrating oil in from this side and let it soak. Now after having soaked uh, the uh, stem with uh, penetrating oil from the top and the bottom, now I'm going to go ahead and try to see if I can get it to, to loosen up a little bit. Not yet. So hit it with more uh, penetrant. And then spray more penetrant uh, from the bottom. Okay, so it's been soaking for a little while. Let me try it again. See if it can break loose. And nope, not yet. Now another thing you might try is if I can get the stem to just break loose. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and take a piece of wood and a hammer and just tap it down. See if I can get to move a little bit inside the, the steer tube. And then it might also help getting the penetrating uh, oil in there. And then try it again. Nope. So we'll soak it with some more penetrating oil. I keep trying to get some more in. Okay, something else to try is use a heat gun. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat the stem, which will cause it to expand, and then after it expands, it'll contract. And what I'm hoping it'll do is help break the uh, the bond between the steerer tube or the stem and the steerer tube. So be careful not to heat any uh, plastic parts or anything that might melt or be damaged by the heat. That includes uh, paint. You don't want to damage the paint with the heat gun. Now this is so hot that it's, I can barely touch it. So I'm going to go ahead and let it sit and cool down and I'm hoping that that'll help uh, break the bond in there. Try to see if it 
moves at all? Nah. Didn't think so. So try to get a little bit more penetrant down in there. Okay, let's try the tapping again. Okay, let's see if we can get any movement on this. No. Okay, I've had this soaking overnight and I'm gonna see if I can get any movement on it. And no, still no movement on it. So um, one thing I'm gonna check is that's aluminum and the fork is definitely steel. So probably what I've got is some uh, galvanic uh, corrosion in there between the aluminum and the steel. Um, the aluminum oxide is actually probably taking up a lot of space in there and expanding out into the, the steel uh, steer tube. Um, that's really harder to get rid of, but what I can do is there is definitely rust inside the steer tube, uh, the, the iron oxide. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get rid of some of the iron oxide using um, vinegar. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have to pull this out and I'm going to try to seal this off. So I'm going to pour uh, the um, vinegar in from the, the bottom side so I need to seal this up so that it just doesn't pour out. Okay, I'm going to try to use electrical tape to see if I can seal up this bolt hole here to keep the vinegar from coming out. Let's seal this up as best I can. Okay, so hopefully that'll keep the vinegar from coming out of the bolt hole there. And I wonder if I could also maybe seal around down here at the top of the um, steerer tube. They put just a little bit of uh, electrical tape around there. Okay, so I've got apple cider vinegar here, uh, which I, I've read, it seems to work better than regular, just uh, regular white distilled vinegar. So but I got apple cider vinegar here, and I'm going to go ahead and pour it into the bottom of the steerer tube, and hopefully just fill that up and let it soak. And so I got a funnel here, so let's pour it into the funnel, and hopefully it doesn't just pour out the bottom. Oh. It did pour out through these little side holes here at the top, but it is seeming to hold in there. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave that there. Um, and hopefully that will help dissolve some of the, uh, the rust in there and loosen up the uh, stem. Well, I've had the vinegar soaking in the uh, steerer tube there for about a day. So I'm going to go ahead and dump it out and see if I get any movement. If not, I'm going to go ahead and fill it back up with some fresh vinegar. Okay, let's try to see if this uh, freed up at all. <clears throat> no. Still nothing. Okay, I'm going to put some more vinegar back in there. Okay, and now I'll go ahead and leave that sit for another day or two and we'll see if that helps. Okay, after running through a lot of uh, vinegar through there, try to get rid of a lot of the rust. So now I'm going to go ahead and just flood the thing with uh, penetrating oil and just fill this reservoir up and just let it soak. There. So I'm going to be going on vacation and so I'll just let this soak for a couple weeks and see how that does. 
Okay, I dumped the penetrating oil out of there, and I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get this thing to uh, loose, loosen up. <clears throat> if get, Trying to get the thing loose uh, with oil and everything else is not getting it to break loose. What you need to do is cut it off. You're gonna to have to sacrifice the stem. So go ahead and cut it off like a little bit above the fork tube. Don't just cut it straight off at the fork tube, but cut it off a little bit uh, above the fork tube. And so now what I'm gonna do is I can go ahead and remove this. Get this off of there. Okay, now this is gonna be long and tedious, but what you're gonna do is take the hacksaw and cut to the inside of the stem over to the steel wall. And I'm basically using like a hacksaw like this. And I may actually want to make it a little bit longer. But I'll go ahead and try this for now. And just cut from the inside out. Okay, now that we've sawed down in there quite a bit, I'm going to go ahead and use some vice grips, clamp on here, try to compress the stem in, and see if I can get it to loosen up in there. <clears throat> nope. Okay. So maybe I'll go ahead and cut down into the sides a little bit and see if that works. <sighs> okay, let's give this another shot. And see if we can get this thing to loosen up. Yep. Try it this way. Nope. Need to tap with a hammer, see if that loosens it up. Well, I moved. So let me see if I can now clamp into it and get it to turn. I think it's turning a little bit. It is. So I'll see if I can get it to come out. Oh, it busted off. Let's try it again. Got it. And that's how you remove a frozen stem. Worst case scenario.